So hello everyone, welcome to our channel of our GFG Purity Streak of Day 95 Day 96, this is Akshay here and welcome to our channel So if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that learn, grow and maintain a streak together So let's jump to the question now, so it's an easy category question uh, The name of the question is type it So Geek is extremely punctual but today he is not feeling like doing homework assignment We must start doing it immediately in order to meet the deadline for the assignment, Geek needs to type a string S. Okay, that's a problem that we need to type a string S. To reduce his workload, he has decided to perform one of the following two operations. So there are two operations we can perform to type the string S. So append a character at the end of the string or append the string from thus far to the end of the string. This can be done. This cannot be done more than once. Okay, the second operation can be done only once. So help Geek find the minimum operation required to type the given string. So is it uh, is it not very clear from the question? So let's see the dry run. For A, B, C, A, B, C, A, they are saying that I will do first operation, then I will add A, then I will add B again, then I will add the third character A, B, C. But as I can see that after A, B, C, the exact three characters, that is A, B, C is repeated. So they have done a second operation saying that just uh, Duplicate it right like append the string thus form to the end of the string so thus far string was abc and it added the abc again and at last the a is written so you can see that the total steps is one two three four and five that's the output similarly for second test case is abc defg so i can see that there is no pattern like uh, there is not not a single point where the string thus formed will be equal to the string that we have to form okay so that's so uh, because of that they have used the first operation until and unless we reach the end of the string and there goes our output at 8. So constraint is n square. So if the constraint is our n square, then maximum time complex. Okay, so the constraint was 10 power 3, right? So the maximum time complexity we can use is n square. We cannot go n cube because n square will be 10 power 6, which is less than 10 power 8. So it will work, right? If you do not know the 10 power 8 logic, I already made this video on time constraint that's very important must watch that video it will, be, it will be flashing up now so let's do the dry run now let's do the dry run and think in the direction of how we can code and how we can solve it so let's take the test case this test case because there 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 is an recurring strings right so the first operation as i said that you just need to add up and one character and second operation it says that if this is the string you have uh, seen thus far and if the next string is repeating right so let's say a b c if the next string to be formed is repeating to be formed is repeating then you can just take one move one move and you can do this but we need to make sure that this move that there may be multiple chances like a b and a b right you can see that you can take a move from for two characters but we we must be sure that the second operation can do just once right we know that we can do just once so we need to make sure that we need to do this for maximum length possibility right so what i can see is so the string is a b c a b c a right so let's index it 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right that is n equals to 7 so if i do something like this like I maintain a pointer here, if I maintain a pointer here or before maintaining the pointer, if I say that suppose in this, this is the sixth length, right? And this is the even number of characters from here to here. So if I say that this string, that half of this string, if I check for this, if I check for this, in this case, it's repeating, but let's say some string was not repeating A, B, D, E, F, G, H, right? So I can say that the maximum possible characters of repeating is this thing out of seven characters I, I have to check for three and it should be repeating because that's the maximum and if that not the case then i will check for two characters right right a b and then d e like that and then i will finally compare for just one character that is a and b right so what i'm doing if i'm at n equals to seven i'm comparing for three first right for three characters first and i'm comparing for two characters first and then one so, agar at three characters, if I found a match, like I found a match here, ABC and ABC, then I just take one move, right? What I do, I, I make this character ABC in the number of characters, that is three, plus one move, this is one, one move, and plus 
the remaining characters right and for the remaining characters we have to take one move for each and every alphabet so let's write remaining so this will be our answer so how to check that so we are checking in the middle right starting with the middle because that will give our the maximum possibility length of the string that may be repeated right so let's make a pointers let's make a low and high pointer and do some mid type of thing so if i write the case again so a b c a b c a and index is as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 n equals to 7 if i maintain a pointer let's say here l equals to 0 and high equals to 6 then how i can from how from how what manipulation i can do from high and low so that i can, can reach in the middle in the middle of this string that is at let's say 3 and then i'll compare the substring right at at 2 right so clearly i can do that let's say mid is equals to l plus h by 2 right so what it will give us that uh, l is equals to 0 and h is equals to 7 as of now right h is here at 7th index so i can uh, not the 7th index the length of the string so i can see that it will give me 7 plus 0 by 2 that gives us 3 right but i need to be here at this thing at the even number of characters division part because three is here four characters you cannot compare with four characters with the next three characters right you need the same number of characters from both sides so i need to do one minus one also right so the formula will be like l plus h by two minus one right and similarly when we check this for thing then i will do h minus minus right then the mid will become i want mid to become then this point right zero one and we'll compare zero one and then two three and then at the third point i will i want mid to become here and then we'll compare this one zero and one index so i need to do h minus minus so that h points to now what six and then i will do zero plus six by two minus one that gives me three uh, that gives me three by two minus one that is two right so i can you can see that i am at this pointer so that is fixed so this is our pseudo code for the traversal we are going to do so suppose we are at this point now we are at this point so what i need to check i need to check key substring substring i'm i am saying it as substring ss from 0 to the index 2 right from 0 to 2 but uh, if you remember that the substring function if you write 0 to 3 then that means it is it is actually taking the characters from 0 to 2 right it is plus 1 for the higher index so what I will write, mid is actually pointing to 2. So I will write 0 to mid plus 1. If it is equals to substring of from where? This 3 to 5. And this for, for 3 to 5, I need to write mid is pointing to what? 3. Right. Mid is pointing to here at 3 minus 1. That is 2. Mid is pointing to 2 as of now. Mm, right. So it is pointing to 2 as of now. Right so what i can do i need to check for 3 to 5 so i can write that uh, mid is equals to 2 and i need to check for 3 to 5 but for 3 to 5 i need to write 3 to 6 right so it can be written as mid plus 1 and how i'm getting 6 i'm just doubling the number of indexes from 1 to 2 from 0 to 2 i'm just doubling it so i can write that double the index 2 star mid plus 1 right i can write that so I will write here mid plus one comma two star mid plus one and it will be pointing to what three to six right and it will be comparing the characters of three to five so here the characters will be a b and c and it will be a b and c so there is a match right but since there is a match the first the first three characters I need to build with the first operation right so I will just say and this is the maximum possibility of uh, maximum possibility of the character length we can use for the second operation so from as soon as we get a match as soon as we get a match we need to return the answer i hope this point is clear as soon as we get a match we need to clear the answer because we are already starting from the maximum possible length right so what i will do that uh, building these three characters will require three steps but uh, and we have the pointer as mid equals to two right so three steps required so i will say that mid plus one that will be pointing to three then i need one more step for this second operation to make abc into abc uh, one more operation here to actually make the string as abc and abc right now now 
I have exhausted my second operation privilege. Now, for the each and every character, remaining characters, for each and every remaining characters, I need to do one operation. So, how many remaining characters are there? So, this index was pointing to two star mid plus one, right? The last, the last index. So, I can say the remaining character is the number of total strings minus the index which I am present at two star mid plus one, right? I can say that. So that's that's our pseudocode guys and I think that's our solution also. So okay, I hope you you guys were able to understand the intuition here why we were iterating for the why we were making the pointers L and H and we were considering the maximum possibility because we have this constraint of using the second operation just once, right? And as, as soon as we hit that there is a match, then we just return the answer at that point instance you know of one because it's just the matter of indexes it's just the matter of making one move for each and every index what will be the time complexity then for this approach right it is working fine we can see that so uh, mid was actually equals to what mm, let me reduce the output also mid was equals to 2 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 7 minus 2 this will be in the bracket 7 minus 2 into 3 so that gives us as 2 3 4 and this gives us one that is five so is five is the answer so definitely five is the answer so it will work right and for the second test case where there is a no match right there is a no match so this will never be so our while loop will never be fall in this if cases this if case it will never fall in the if case and after the while loop for this just for the second case we just have to return at the last n right okay so what will be the time complexity so we are running a while loop from L is less than equals to H and L is nothing but the zero index and H is but in the, uh, the length of the string. So it will be O of N, right? And then for each and every iteration, we are running a substring function, right? So for that, so for that, the time complexity will be N because uh, after the Java 6, uh, from the updation of Java 7, the substring was taking O of N time because it uses it extracts the sequence of characters from the string and then uh, stores it into another string and for the checking. So it will be O of n star n and space complexity will be O of n. Okay, so uh, at the first sight you may see that the o complexity is O of n but uh, since you are using the substring function of Java that itself takes O of n so that will be O of n square and since the constraint is 3, 10 power 3, so it will be 10 power 6, less than 10 power 8. So if we are able to code this solution, this will definitely work. So let's jump to the coding section now. I hope the dry run and the intuition is very clear to you. So let's make the int n is equal to s dot length. And what we were doing, what we were doing that we were running a while loop. So let's run a while loop. So while less than equals to edge less than equals to s and what was l pointing to so int l is equals to 0 and int h is equals to n correct okay so we need to make may, uh, we need to always find the midpoint where we can actually see and compare the characters from one end from one half to the other half and if that's the case then that's the maximum possibility characters we can perform the second operation for and we will do that thing so okay so in this case it will be like 0 first thing will be like 0 plus 7 by 2 and minus 1 right so it will give us as the index 2 that is it and I, I have to check if the substring in the first half is equals to the substring in the other half so substring into 0 plus 0 comma mid plus 1 right now I need to exact double these indexes right I cannot check till the end of it. I need to exact the double of these indexes like I did here. For ABC, the index was 2, right? So I need to double this index. That is 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 3 into 2, 6. I need to check till here for 3, 3, comma 5. So let's do that. So if it is, if it is equals to S dot up string of mid plus 1, 2, Two star mid plus one. I hope this point is clear to you. And that's the last if braces. And at this point, we just need to return if if that's the case. Then to build this thing, to build this first string, we need to do this by using the first operation. That is, we will take up mid plus one times first operation, 
then I will take the second operation that will just require one move right to build the next half and then for the remaining characters that is n minus 2 star mid plus 1 that's the remaining characters for the remaining characters we need one move for each and every character so I will write just mid star mid plus 1 right and if 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 it does not fall in this statement then just need to check by lowering the outer bound of the index and we'll check for the another index so suppose we checked it for here for 2 then we'll check for mid equals to 1 then we'll mid, mid equals to 0 right okay great and if that's not the case if if in if any of the test case it does not fall in this if case where the substrings is actually equal in any part of our whole string then we have to return the exact length of the string as we can see in this second test case and okay so let's compile and run and let's see are we on the same page as regard with the question so now there is definitely we have done something wrong here let me look at it okay we cannot use this equal equal operator right it compares the reference if we need to compare the exact content right then in the string we have to use equals equals yes that's correct now it will compare it now and then we just have to return mid plus one plus one plus n minus two star mid plus one okay so let's make this thing also in the braces okay so it seems good to me now so let's compile and run again so great your output and expected output matches let's see if we are uh, not handling any base cases or not so for n equals n starts from 1 to 10 power 3 so for n we need to handle this while loop will not handle it right so for n equals equals to 1 why i'm saying will not handle it because just for one character what will mid point to right there is no sense of finding mid for that thing and if there is only one character we just need to make one move for that and answer will be just one so i will handle this case specifically and let's uh, test it also that uh, let's say there's a character a that will surely pass so let's say for the second character let's test it if there are duplicacy so if this test case passes okay definitely so let's just hit the submit button and as we discussed the time complexity will be o of n square because of this first while loop and we are checking substring method each and every for each and every iteration so it will be o of n square and Great guys, so we are good to go here. I think this problem was an easy category, but a bit tricky to understand to get into this uh, mode of solving this question. But okay, <clears throat> uh, we need to solve it, continuing our streak and the skills will come around, right? Few last thing that this is my DSA repository, you can start and fork to get help with the source code and that's my Instagram challenge or you can connect to me here or, or on LinkedIn for any doubts or guidance if you may have. And uh, thank you for watching this video and if you like my content please subscribe our channel and we'll share our journey together that's it till then keep studying keep growing take care and bye bye